What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys my 99 overall interior finisher build. Even though this build is called an interior finisher, I actually chose the sharpshooting and post scoring pie chart. So as you can see, my finishing isn't great. I have an 89 close shot which helps a lot, especially on post fades really close to the hoop. My driving layup's only a 59 and my driving dunk is only a 48. My standing dunk is a 30 so this player hardly ever does standing dunks, it's mostly just standing layups. And my post hook is only a 34 and I don't really care about that because I don't really do post hooks. Now going into the shooting, my mid-range is an 82, which is good. My three-pointer is a 79, which sounds kind of bad, but with the Hall of Fame shooting badges that I get and the jump shot boost that I have for turning my jump shot meter off, it actually is pretty good. My free throw is an 84, and my post fade is a 91, which is really good. My pass accuracy is an 82, which is really good for a big man. Ball control, 51. Post moves, 91. Going into the defense, I have 81 interior defense, which isn't the best, but as you can see on the bottom of the screen, I have a 93 strength. So that kind of helps with that. I don't get bodied as much, especially with the gym rat badge. Then my perimeter defense, these three attributes are pretty bad, but I don't really need that as much. My block is almost an 80, which is good. My offensive rebound is kind of low, but then my 82 defensive rebound kind of makes up for that. As you can see on the bottom of the screen, I do have a 63 speed, 56 acceleration, 57 vertical, which isn't the best, but I could definitely make that work. Now going out to the badges, I only have one finishing badge and I decided to choose back down punisher because that definitely helps when trying to create shots in the post. For the defensive badges on this build, I kind of wanted a lot of different badges, so I decided to put on Box Bronze, Rim Protector Bronze, Pogo Stick Silver, and Rebound Chaser Bronze, and I've been trying out a bunch of different badges, so I might try out Moving Truck and Intimidator next just to see which badges work best with this build, but these are the five badges that I currently have. Now going on to playmaking, I have Dimer Hall of Fame, Quick First Step Hall of Fame, Post Spin Technician Hall of Fame, Unpluckable Hall of Fame, Floor General Gold, and Break Starter Bronze, and I feel like Break Starter I don't really need because I have 82 pass accuracy, but I may as well put it on because I don't want to put Floor General Hall of Fame because all those numbers at the bottom of the screen just get in the way in my opinion, and if I had more playmaking badges I would probably put on Needle Threader, and maybe even try out tight handles and space creator. I've tried them out just for the fun of it before I got my other badges. They aren't that effective, but they are definitely fun to use. And now going out to the shooting badges, I have Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame, which is a must have on any build. That badge is amazing. I would put this badge on any build, unless you're the primary ball handler and the only person that can dribble on your team and you don't really have that many catch and shoot opportunities. But other than that, this is a must have badge. Corner Specialist is an amazing badge. I wouldn't really put it on a guard, unless you're like a lockdown or a player with a lower three pointer that only sits in the corner. Or if you're a big man, this is a must have badge. I have Green Machine Hall of Fame, must have badge on any player this is probably the best shooting badge in my opinion other than quick draw which i also have on hall of fame then i have hot 100 hall of fame dead eye bronze and range extender bronze i kind of want to try out slippery off ball and deep fades just to see what they're like i heard that deep fades is an amazing badge i haven't really tried it out yet and then flexible release is also a good badge especially before you learn the timing of your jump shot because when they messed with the hot zones i didn't have hot zone on on i just took that badge completely off and I put flexible release on gold and before I could time my jump shot, like get greens every time, this was a really good badge for me. As I said before, I also have the gym rat badge which boosts my attributes. As you guys can see by my 2k card, I decided to make this player 7 feet tall instead of 6 foot 11 because even though 6 foot 11 is a little bit faster, I feel like 7 foot tall player is a little bit better, at least for this build so I won't get bodied as much. But if you do have defense in your build, I would definitely go with 6 foot 11. And I also decided to go with max weight just to get the highest interior defense possible. Also, if you guys want to see my animations and my dribble moves and all of that, make sure to go to my most recent video besides this one. It has all my animations that I use on this player. That's going to be it for the build. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.